Y'all know it's time for some peep show. This oh, is yeah. series two, episode two. Uh, Jeremy makes it. Cool. I don't know. I don't whatever know that. Uh, whatever that means. <laughs> we we know it's gonna be cringe. Cringe yes. city here. Uh, we kind of is. learned that. It always is. I know the way things have like, just been so biblically wrong for for Jeremy is, or not not Jeremy. I'm getting. I'm blanking on the on the names on who's who. Jeremy who's is it, Jeremy is Webb and oh, Mark yeah, no. is Mitchell. Mark the the way. So my thing is, Mark has done biblically terrible with this lady he's trying to pursue. That means in the end of it all, she must have a baby and they're divorced. And that's an <laughs> early prediction. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, let's do ready? it, dude. Three, two, one. I like that out so, intro yeah. better. So, all the clocks. Tony and Tony are getting remarried. And sure, we made a few mistakes the first time round, but now oh, uh, we've got the chance to make them all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Already, he starts with the jokes. At least one of us is serious about actually giving this a fucking go. <laughs> oh wow, well, Tony! You did, didn't you? Oh yeah. And you did, obviously. Oh yeah. Spicy. Clinical, more like. Where are you going there? Bit of crack. Crack? <laughs> crack, Subhans. Relax. It's not blue, Peter. Have a nice little relaxing smoke of crack. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my fucking life. It isn't. It bloody is. Gog. Gog? Gog. At school, if you were going to sneeze, you'd run up and do it in his face. Gog. Jeremy, what are you doing here? Wouldn't you like to know, you big prick? So, what are you doing? Just running the business, you know, hiring, firing, and perspiring. Business? <laughs> Look at you with your glass of wine and your jacket, just like a real person. <laughs> Remember when we made you wank off Perchie's dog for a fiver? What are you doing, really? Like I said, business. Going public in April. Usernames. And I'm overseeing the edit on my first short. Honda are very interested. What, so you're actually successful? Looks <laughs> like it. Yeah. Just come back from three hours trying to find some music for our soundtrack that doesn't completely suck ass. But, Gog, I'm music. I make music. Right, well, maybe we should meet up and have a chat sometime. Of course we should meet up sometime and have a chat. Look, here's Superhands. We can do the music, can't we, Superhands? Tell you what, that crack is really Moorish. Saturday shift. I thought we had people in Ireland to do... If I was that long-haired dude, I'd just spit in you know jeremy's face like yeah like if i saw my bull my high school bully and saw that he was a complete you know loser you know wouldn't or, want to work with him no what i would do i think what i would you know i've, I've thought long and hard um about that even though i didn't have one i Seriously. would i would become successful hyper successful hire him and and provide a nice comfortable living for him and then wreck his home and life and leave him with absolutely nothing <laughs> like it would be it'd be oh, a five year it'd be a five year plan a five year plan, plan. Yeah. Mm, you had me in the first half there <laughs> yeah, i just completely leave him just done like that's what I'm saying. Like you know, you know, it's funny, man. It's just that just harps back. It's like revenge isn't isn't it not supposed to be sweet. It's supposed to be thought out, methodical. Mm -hmm. Win, mm -hmm. win. It, Don't it's just supposed to be bitter. Yeah, it's not supposed to be this this simple jab and done. Like no, you sweep the leg. So, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> has to be quite cerebral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Saturday shift. I thought we had people in Ireland to do this for us. Lovely, trustworthy voices. I can call back at a more convenient... Okay, bye. Ugh. Hmm, Sophie, with her lovely soft face. Jeff. Can't believe they're doing the Stockport contract. Perfect excuse for him to get her around to his place. And here I am, stuck with a new guy. See you later, guys. What? See you later, guys. So, for see you back at my place. 33 Ringfield Road. You ring the vino. I've got the massage oil. <laughs> oh, God. He hasn't got any massage oil. He's trying to make me obsess about massage oil. 
and it's worked. Break with the newbie will be a pain fest, trying to chat. Maybe I'll say I'm very upset and go and sit on the loo and just never explain. Huh? Oh, God, he's taunting me. I should have made him a cup of tea when I had one. <laughs> Hurrah! It was a joke! A hilarious joke! <laughs> OK, great. You sure you don't need a loan? Maybe for some therapy to help you speak properly. Huh? OK, bye. <laughs> You'd already hung up. Oh! Right. Well, then I met you, but I'm so bored I could eat a fucking stapler. <laughs> this is crazy. I should be working. I should be working, but I'm not. <laughs> I see you! I'm Barnes Wallace! <laughs> You're the Roar! <laughs> I'm the Roar! And no one's actually said the word dumb busters. This is bloody brilliant. I'm having fun. And I'm not thinking about Sophie. <laughs> Go on. I can't. I'll just imagine it's Ian's cock. <laughs> 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 I've got a friend. I've made a friend. Maybe there's nothing wrong with me and I'm just a normal human being. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, will never want... be normal. <laughs> and... <laughs> and businesses want people like that to come back to the office. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. <sighs> Can't believe I'm pitching to Gog. Hope he doesn't know it was me who did the shit in his mum's airing cupboard. Please like my music, you lanky wanker. Please, please let me do the music for your Honda film. Want another beer? Sure. Follow me. <clears throat> he hates it. He bloody hates it. These are my guys. They had to pull a lady. So I was all, do it around my place. I've got a fridge full of beers. Plus, this way, I get to keep an eye on, which is cool. Very cool. So, about the track. Hey, you know what I fancy right now? A kebab. Will you go down and get me a kebab? You want me to... I want a kebab. What? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Were you going to go and get me one? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe you are going to go and get me a kebab. I wasn't. Well, I want one now. <laughs> right. Really? No. I'm <laughs> shitting you, Jez. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so, about the soundtrack. Can I do the soundtrack? I'm talking to a number of people, Jez. But if I do pick you, what I want is something classic. You remember the theme tune from Jaws? Well, I don't want anything like that, obviously. I want something completely different. I want something that when people hear it, they'll immediately go, yeah. Right. What shall I write? Can't just put, not Jaws. Do pretend writing. Are you pretending to write? <laughs> no. It, it's really... I, I honestly oh, didn't God. see anyone. Shit, what if they bring in forensics? Oh, hell, I probably shouldn't have done that, should I? My prints what? will be all over it now. Yeah, what well, are it's you very doing? embarrassing. And since Ian Krauss is of German extraction, it has to be treated as a racial incident. Ian's a, a, a racial incident, but why? Oh, come on, Mark. Germans. Sausages. <gasps> Do I have to spell it out? Oh! The sausage-munching Bosch. Fritz, the bratwurst guzzler. Of course. Horrible. Oh, my God. And they're treating it... Wow! Wow! Evil Knievel couldn't make that leap! Wow! Uh, but, but it's his it's his luck it's yeah. his luck like wow like you know that that's that's actually pretty funny that's actually like it's like one of my biggest fears you know because you know how like <laughs> kind of unfiltered i live yeah you do and and i always have the best intentions but sometimes some stuff just comes out and I'm like, will that come back to haunt me? Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> you know? And I was like, ah, uh, that, 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 that one might come back. You know? So, mm -hmm. so it's one of those things, like, I've worked in, in like, a, the, the bank before. And you have to, like, walk on eggshells as it is. Mm -hmm. So that is funny how, like, I'm just going to staple a nail a sausage to the door. It's like, it's because he's German, isn't it? Like, oh, shit. 
<laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. This is bad. Like, like oh my god. That's not one of the good. reasons I loved working graveyard shift. It's because everyone just said whatever the hell they wanted to say. Nope. Yep, no, <laughs> Real freedom of speech shift. there. Graveyard y'all, shift y'all, is the best. Yeah, graveyard shift. Love it. Y'all y'all think I shoot shoot at the hip. He is a lot worse up at it than I am. Oh, hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm tame compared to him. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can I can get it, but you know yeah. the graveyard shift is the best. It's like yeah. everyone's fresh out of prison, no one cares, you know, and it's just like it's freedom. It's nice, mm-hmm. pure it's nice. freedom. It's like it's like you live yesterday, today, and tomorrow all in the same day. Yep, yep. they're time travelers. Yep, one hundred percent, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course, horrible. And they're treating it as a racial incident. Bloody hell. Next you won't be able to get a black coffee from the coffee machine. Exactly. Oh. And they'll have a bloody EU banana straightening machine to straighten all the bananas. Hey, there's already a banana straightening machine. It's called Woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you ah. check that Sophie, right? Going over to Jeff's like that, right in your face. You've got to admit, that is the behaviour of a world-class bitch. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Say it. I'm going to say it. Yeah, I suppose she is a bit of a bitch. Too right. Ask Clarkson. Clarkson knows. Good old Clarkson. People like fast cars, they like females with big boobies, and they don't want the Euro, and that's that's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. Do you want anything? Don't really fancy a chinky. Have you got a pizza menu? About a million. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that. <laughs> I'd like to see him run like that carrying real sten guns. Yeah, do, do you know about? Uh, just just reenactments, you know. That's cool, we do like WW2 stuff. Could be an hell of a laugh, you know, just a bunch of guys together. Reenactments. They probably sound more fun than they really are. Like Laser Quest. Another beer, G? Lock and load. Oh, God, man. what is he taking? Better not disturb him. He might attack me and be sick. Uh, Jeremy! What? What's Hans doing? He's honking on his crack pipe. Crack? I've got company. Oh, relax. Oh, I'm Mark. I'm in the 80s. I'm dying of heroin in a puddle in the corner in an advert. Drugs are fine, Mark. Everyone agrees now. Drugs are what happened to people. Uh, shut up. Look, I don't want to make a scene, but I really think... <laughs> what? It's Gog. I got the commission. Well, congratulations. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. I've got a commission. It's big and it's fat and it's going right up your white bread ass. Jez, for God's sake, I'm pleased for you. Oh, yeah, sure you are. So pleased that I've gone straight to the finish line on my enormous bike while you're still jogging along for miles in the rat race with you and all the other rats. Exactly. I I think it's great. Great. Well, in that case, you won't mind if I take you out for an incredibly expensive meal to celebrate. I'm not that hungry. Bollocks, we're going. That's where I want to be in life. What what Jez just was that. Yeah. But, but not with the whole downfall thing, which is inevitably going to happen. It's, it's look at the timestamp, guys. It's way too early for anyone to win. Yeah. I, if, I know it's covered here right now, but it's yeah. 845. Yeah. Way this is the timestamp. Way too, way too soon for any person in a UK based sitcom to just win. Right, right. Um, when we put this, uh, cut this up and try and get it through to YouTube's copyright filters, if you're watching this in the future, uh, you obviously did not see that part uh, where uh, Jez's friend was doing the thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Yeah, that uh. was cut out. Full episode on Patreon. Link in the description. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I'm speaking it into a existence right now. Yes. See if we can actually make it through to the YouTube net. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Why'd you have to bring Daryl? He's a bit boring, isn't he? Oh, boring. What, because he doesn't go around with a haircut and a, an iPod and piercings and a strap-on? Strap-on is an example. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I ordered uh, three pilau rice and three peshwari naans. It's, it's all right, Jeremy. It's all right. I changed the order. There's always rice left. It's not all right. Bring us three pilau rice and four peshwari naans, please. I've shared enough rice with you, Mark. 
I'm in the big league now. Four none, Jeremy. Four? That's insane. So, what am I going to pay you to do in my band? That's very kind of you, Jez, but you don't want to overstretch yourself. Bollocks. I'm a very generous guy. Daryl's bringing his core anglais, Nancy's singing. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, we did once talk about me doing a kind of Jean-Michel Jarre thing on the keyboards. Mm-hmm. Or, I was sort of hoping you'd say you want to be the manager. Yeah? You could order me around, which you'd enjoy, but I'd be your boss. It could be kind of confusing. In a good way. Three more beers for the three musketeers, eh? Ooh. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, check this out, right? Sexy girl walks past. It's like... <laughs> yeah. That's not funny, Daryl. Repeat, not funny. Oh, come on, lads. Let's lose the cone. I'm a somebody now. There's no need for a cone. Ooh. Too good for the cone, are we? We're having a laugh, Jeremy, a bloody good laugh. <laughs> but we're having a much better time than Sophie is right now. Hey, of course we are, mate, of course we are. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you where we should go now. What are we going to do? Fuck him up. Maybe we should check the doorbells working nice and loud, yeah? Or, or we could make a special delivery for Jeffini. Oh, uh, no. Daryl, what, what are you... Hey! No, don't! <laughs> Oh, Run! Oh, piss. Oh, crumbs. That's not even the right one. Oh, my God. Oh, it, my God. What is wrong with them? You know what his, you know what his problem is? He, he does uh, not... Where he, do we start? Uh, yeah, I, but he does... His character does not do well on his feet. Like, no. any, any person... Any hum any other human being that sees someone pick up a rock and start throwing, guess where the person who's not throwing the rock should be? Running away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, just just he is the most recognizable man on the block. Yeah. I, I saw him, he was there. Why? Because he mm -hmm. looks like he never changes out of his clothes ever. Yeah, he is not. It, even like Dave Mitchell himself, <sighs> like he doesn't change out of it what yeah. he wears. That exactly. is what he wears. So, I, is how much of Mark is David <laughs> in real life? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like this, this character is him. It is yeah. him. Yes, and it's, and it's awesome, dude. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What am I going to tell Gog? What happened to all the time? Where did all the time go? We had loads of time. What we really need to do is create a powerful sense of dread. See, the longer the note, the more dread. God, that's terrible. It's worse than Daryl's bloody core on Glay. Oh, they're useless. I wish they were all robots. I wish I was a robot. Maybe I could punch through a wall. Yeah, okay, right, ready? One, two, three, let's go! Watch out, they're gonna get you. They're gonna get you, baby. They're coming after you. Watch your back, they're gonna get you. They're coming after you. Look, no, all right? That's not shit, but just no. Hans, you oh, realise we've only got 39 minutes left. All oh, right, so now we're working. It's not okay for me to smoke my crack. Yes, exactly, exactly. What? So next you're going to boot me out for not wearing a jacket and tie? Jess, is there anything I can? It's under control, Mark. Okay, everything's under control. Will you please get back behind the glass? But uh, as your manager, I just, I just get back behind the glass. There is a very clear, if invisible, line. Here be beauty, there be pie charts. Okay. Uh, Look, I've been here since eight. I'm just gonna go and grab a coffee, all right? Yeah, well, if you're leaving now, I don't even fucking dream of coming back. God. Oh, God. I mean, obviously, a band isn't an art. I've never been in a band that dysfunctional, but I've been one that's like 90% there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think you know yeah. which one I'm talking about. Yeah.
I do. But makes sense. Yeah. But like when you get to a studio, you should. That's not where you do your composing. If you're no. at that level, you, you get, you find somewhere to compose, and then you go to the studio. Yep. You got to have all the details worked out way before you yeah. get to the studio. Hundred percent. Love that. Hundred percent. Love that. Army, but you need some organization. Exactly oh my feeling. My. Exactly. I mean, God. oh no. Very well. But it's weak and it's decadent. You need a strong. No! Uh, I'm in character. Ah! Oh, uh, yes, yes, right. Yes, the the fatherland needs the the Fuhrer. Oh God, I'm even boring when I'm a Nazi. <laughs> Jesus. Let it cook. Let Plus it cook. Absolutely no interest in military history. Might as well be checking out fucking seed drills than a farm museum. <laughs> Still, it's nice to get out of the city, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's nice to get away from it all, isn't it? You know, the work, the smog, the graffiti. Yeah, the traffic, the noise, the hassle. The car alarms, the cash points, the blacks, the packies, the Jews. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what we all want, a, a racially pure nation. Exactly. I mean, all we're saying is England for the English, right? You mean Germany for the Germans? You mean... This is... Uh, are we... Rights for whites. That's not oh. too much to ask, is it? Is this real now? We're on the same wavelength, right? Everyone thinks so. The difference is, we're not afraid to say it. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh, bollocks. Of course. I can't just make a nice, normal friend. Oh, no, that would be far too simple. Heil Hitler? No, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. That's so funny. That's so funny. Like, it's funny. It's he... funny. <sighs> it... Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Of course. Of course he makes his friend. Of course he makes his friend. <sighs> You know, I mean, hey, there are people that that reenact Civil War stuff as yeah. Confederates. Yep. Yep. You know, Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank so, you. I mean, it's a reenactment of a battle. But anyway, this guy is a bigot. Yes, <laughs> the people that reenact. Straight up bigot. <laughs> yeah, the people that reenact war shit are usually hi history buffs and they need mm -hmm. filler. Yeah. You know, <sighs> it that was really, really. <laughs> really pleased with the track you know once we got that weird hiss off i mean you'll get it off entirely but you know uh-huh i've got to cut the link daryl is definitely beyond so rest of the money should be rolling in soon which is just as well uh -huh. or maybe i'm just overreacting maybe everyone does it now and it's cool and ali g and i'm just an old stick in the mud as usual well like i said Sorry if I was a bit of a cock muncher down the studio. Fine. It's, it's totally fine, mate. Honestly. Listen, I might pop... Just <clears throat> pop down the, uh, chinky. Do you want another thing? From... Uh, no, I'm alright, thanks. What about from the packy shop? Do you want another thing from in there? The packy shop? Yeah, I don't normally go there. They've always got that wad box on. Mark, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, that's not on, is it? What I said, it, it's not all right, is it? Well, no. And obviously you don't think there's a global Jewish conspiracy controlling everything? What, you mean, am I a racist? Yeah, if you think that and say those things, you're a racist, aren't you? Well, yeah. As Got it turns him. out... Daryl is a racist. You're sure he's a proper... You know, it wasn't just racist horseplay. No, because I was in the tent with him for ages and we talked for a long time and it was mostly on racial classifications, head measurements and so on. Wow. I feel terrible. Do you think I should confront him? You mean you didn't confront him? Yeah, no. Naturally, I, I confronted him, but maybe I should confront him again. More. <laughs> That's him. Tell him I'm not here. Why? Because I didn't confront him, all right? Here we go. Oh, hi, Daryl. Hey, Jez. Is Mark around? He's not, I'm afraid. He's gone out to get a Thai curry. Because that's what we eat nowadays while you're chomping on your racist carrots. Oh, right. <laughs> Hope. 
That's one way to I guess. talk down a racist gently. Yeah. Wow. I, I guess. I don't even know what's happening. Why well, do you not? I mean, uh, I guess it's different. I guess it was different then. I, and it shouldn't have been. It should be the same fucking thing. But like. I don't know. You confront when you do, when you don't feel comfortable. You gotta say that you're not comfortable. Yeah. And this not you. Period. Right. Period. Yeah. It doesn't, no matter the situation, you've got That's to a, say something. Gotta say something. Jesus. Yeah. Jeff's neighbor got the check for the window. So sorry. What happened was we were passing and I said, let's see if they're in. Throw some stones at the window. And Daryl thought I said a stone and the stone he picked was a brick. And well, he got the wrong window and you know the rest. Sorry I'm late, everyone. <laughs> hey, Mark, my man. Hi. Hey, listen, has your mobile been broke? I've not been able to get you for days. Hey, they, they do chicken wings. I love chicken wings. So, Alan, why have you got us all down here? Well, I noticed a bit of static back in the office. Just thought we should come down here for a bit of a bonding session. All right, great. So. Anyone see the game last night? Uh, no. I did. <laughs> Thierry Henry. He made Savage look like a right car horse, didn't he? <laughs> Brilliant, wasn't he? I mean, when are people finally going to admit that you lot are just better at sports? And that's a simple fact. Oh, no, no, not God. here. No, this can't happen. You lot. He, he means guys like you who are French. He thinks you're French. <laughs> I keep telling you, Daryl, he's not French. Come on, let's get you a drink. <laughs> what? Just come out and oh say it. The God, dude's a bro. fucking racist. It, it, uh. it, like, it, it just irks me that he never does himself any favors. Ever. Ever. And it's no. just, it's infuriating. Because now he covered for the biggest racist out there. You don't cover for racists. No, no. Oh, God. Who's, who's he going to cover for next? David Duke? Uh, probably. On. Probably. Yeah. Listen, mate, wh while we've got a minute, the thing is, I'm busy, you're busy. I just think maybe we should stop seeing each other <sighs> so much. Stupid. What? What? Stop being mates? Yeah, you know, you say potato, I say tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. But, but why? Well, it's the 21st century and no one actually likes each other anymore, so let's just leave it at that, shall we? No, but I, but I do like you. I think you're fucking great. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I don't have time, okay? There's no what time. What an idiot! What a fucking so idiot! So let's just forget anything ever happened, okay? It's okay, Stupid. he doesn't have any feelings. Racists don't have feelings. They're subhuman. Yes, little tetraminos, you fit neatly together and dissolve because everything is simple in Tetris world. Uh, Mark, I've got a massive, massive favor to ask you. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, um, the thing is, Gog, he's got some reservations about the track and he's holding out on the foreground till we get it right uh-huh but the thing is i've basically been very very foolish and i've spent all of our advance on drugs and shoes and i really need to borrow quite a lot of money to go back into the studio and i was thinking i mean you are the manager oh, <clears throat> okay no. how much brilliant now the favor that's not the favor uh, no. You see, the thing is, Gog, he's really not very keen at all on any of the track, except, as it turns out, for the Cor Anglais. He wants much, much more Cor Anglais. No, Jeremy, you know what Daryl's like? No, sure, yeah, absolutely, of course. But look at it another way, we've all got our foibles. I mean, I, for example, hate mozzarella it's not the same it is kind of the same i mean aren't we supposed to be living in a multicultural democracy and isn't that the point you know the jews and the muslims and the racists all living happily together side by side doing and saying whatever the hell they like cor anglais of course probably plays it in the bnp jazz combo brilliant fantastic what did you think hans crack just give me crack well, I loved it. If you want to print one of those out or whatever. 
Jeremy, don't just go. I'll suck for crack. Yeah, come on, Superhands, let's get you some crack. Tell Daryl we're very grateful. Great to hear from you. You uh, got over whatever brain attack you had in Frankie and Benny's then? I'm safe. In my cubicle, I'm safe. So we offer a pie or what? Uh, Daryl, li listen, the, the truth is, I can't be associated with you anymore because you're a racist. <laughs> yeah, but I thought we were on the same wavelength. You know, the, the sausage, the Euro, Clarkson. There's a difference. Daryl, you can't hate people because of their ethnic background. Oh, right. Political correctness gone mad. Oh. No, I hate political correctness gone mad more than anyone. I don't want to teach the world to sing. That, that would be horrible, but... Slavery? The, the Holocaust? That's, that's just not on. Whereas, I have a dream. South Africa, Benetton, it's... You've got to say, fair enough. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, no. Fair enough, you've taught me around. I have? Fuck off, thought <laughs> police. <laughs> well, there he goes. I the first all... friend I've made since Nick Bickford in 96. And I'm pretty sure Nick didn't really like me. Just All he had to do was start with that. All he had to do was start with that. Like, yeah, uh, just say that in the beginning. Could have avoided this whole thing. Yeah. But no, it's Mark. It's Mark. What do you expect? He he lives his life in hindsight. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it is. He tries a, to meet yeah. in the middle. <clears throat> yeah. Can't do that. There's oh some things God. you can't meet in the middle on. Do we have to do this? We're not going to hurt him, are we? You want your money back, don't you? He's refusing to pay up, Mark. He's refusing to like oh, the shit. track. I told you you should have had a proper contract. How are you feeling, Superman's? Fine, totally fine. You've kicked the crack? No. So now I'll bang a load of Valium up me arsehole for the come down. What's this? Cover. As the cops turn up. Just a bunch of mates playing a lovely game of baseball. No, oh, Jeremy. Right, so what, you've had more thoughts about the track? Yeah, yeah, we have, actually. OK, great. Yeah, we thought we might smash your brains in with a baseball bat. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. See, we want our money, and we're feeling a little bit clumsy. Whoops. Look, Jeremy, I've told you, it's out of my hands now. The Honda people are very hard to please. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Fuck Honda. Nice, uh, packet of crunchy nut you've got here. Pretty expensive, as I recall. <laughs> Stupid! Not so rich and successful now with a piece of wood in your face. Hmm? Oi, cheers. Look, Jeremy, we, we can come back again. He's got the message. You're going to pay, aren't you? No. All right, then. We've got our answer. Let's go. I've got to hurt him on principle. Hit him with a fucking bat, Jez. Why do I have to? Why don't you do it? Punch him with the glove. Punch it? I can't even make a fist. This is the whole point about contract law. The whole point of a contract is to make sure this kind of thing never happens. <laughs> Don't answer it. What if it's Honda? It's not going to be Honda. Could be Honda. All right, but a word out of place and you're getting the bat. Hello? Honda? Uh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's great news. Uh, oh, well, I'm so pleased. Dave, call the police. There's people here. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. <laughs> Hello, uh, Dave. It, it's... It's Mark here. I, I'm an old friend of God's. D don't worry, we're, we're not trying to kill him. It's, it's just, uh, he's, uh, he's never had sushi before. He thought we were trying to poison him. Sushi. Oh, it's, it's all right, God. You're, you're not meant to cook it. It's supposed to be raw. <laughs> can, can he call you back? Hey, Mark. What's the big stink? Daryl's getting the sack. Apparently he was a massive racist and not even his best friends knew. Someone reported him. Right. Oh, shit. He knows. He knows it was me. He's got a pipe bomb in his trousers. Don't bomb me. You wouldn't bomb a whitey. He said, don't worry, I'm not going to embarrass you, right? I'm going now. I just wanted to say, I don't care what happened. I still think you're a bloody good guy. Right. Oh, and I took the wrap for the sausage as well, so you're in the clear there. So, um, well, I'll see you around, mate.
Now he's confused for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, and good riddance, you, you, you fucking Nazi. <sighs> So much cringe! What? I mean, do we even say? I, oh. I just, I try to. It's just tough. That's a HR's nightmare. Mm. One of them in. Yeah. Oh my god! Still, it, it ticked all the boxes. So I'll it say did, no, the, the the content should never really affect the writing. Right. Uh, you know what yeah. I'm trying to say? It's like an effective. If you can effectively write about something, you can write about anything. Mm -hmm. If you can, like, just like how comedians, if you can effectively tell a joke, you can tell a joke about anything. If you can right. master the craft. And they were successfully able to write about working with a, a, Nazi, <laughs> a Nazi, befriending yeah. a Nazi. I like that. It's not even a like metaphorical sense, quite literal sense. And also writing about <laughs> blowing it in the studio. So, yes. That's yes. a win for me. It's amazing. You have all these all these different things in Peep Show. And I really like that the writing has stepped up a level since season one, which is good because I, we know just coming into this that That's, this has yeah. been around a while. So that just means the writing has just gotten better. So I can't wait to see where it goes. If this season, first two episodes, last season, first two episodes, night and day. Completely oh, yeah. different. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it can only go up from here. There's nine series. We're on series two. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I can't wait, man. It can only go up from here. Yep. Anyway, y'all, thanks for your patronage. Keep the lights on ETS 21. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. See y'all in the next one. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.